and that's the greatest thing about the Olympia, right? It's like, right. It's like one big happy family reunion. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But what is that gonna do? Yeah. It ain't gonna change yeah. nothing. It ain't gonna change nothing. None of that weak trying to call nobody lady. Siri be tripping, man. Man, if they took away social media for a year, I think you would see some better physiques. I want to strip over and run and go, but this is dope. This video is brought to you by Ronnie Coleman Signature Series. RCSS is your one-stop shop for everything you need to build your own legacy at the gym. Make sure to check out my supplement shop on Amazon and use the code BIGRON10 for 10% off. All right, now back to the video. Yeah, buddy. I see you. Yeah, yeah, thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks for having Thank you so much, Pi. Hey, Cassie, I think I met you yesterday. Yes. Briefly. Yeah. How yes. are you? Very good, very good. I mean, and that's the greatest thing about the Olympia, right? It's right. Like, it's like one big happy family reunion. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Hello, yeah, welcome, welcome video for you, bro. You too. You too. You too. Nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> he won a few. He won a few. He won a few. What's up, man? Hey, man. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Good. Are you watching F1? Yeah. Well, you played with the show last night. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. Huh? It is what it is. Yeah. It's like all this coffee. Yeah. We gotta talk, don't we? <laughs> we gotta say something. Yeah, exactly. It's hard, man, because it's like everybody wants to ask us because we've been there. Like, what's your opinion on like? Why do I have to have one? <laughs> exactly. Do I really have to have one? I mean, I was doing a live pay per view. Yeah. Oh yeah. And of course, I'm watching it. I'm critiquing it. I can see it, but at the same time, I can make a case for different people. Like, and but what is that gonna do? Yeah. It ain't gonna change yeah. nothing. It ain't gonna change nothing. It's just gonna make people mad and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all emotions. It's like the biggest question I always have is okay, the results are in. What can you do next time then? Yeah. Exactly. That's all you can do. That's yeah. all you can do. You don't like where so, you are, yeah. Right. What you gonna do mentally, physically, emotionally, to get better? Like that's what people really wanna know. But in the in the moment like people got upset with like how they reaction and stuff. I go, first of all, have you guys even taken a step back and thought, where's this guy from? Just imagine what it's from. Right. So, but you know, right. how they, how they, he did when, when at the show, uh, and they now he, he will too. He went up to him, hugged him, and everything. It's like, how much you want? Yeah, yeah. So he hugged him, mm -hmm. said something, said something, hit a pose, and then they want to keep going. It's like, he probably is like, dude, like, I did my obligation, I want to leave. Right. And then the emotions set in. And I don't think people even understand it. Maybe, I mean, Ron is with I, was, I went through it, like, uh, I, was, I was saying, I know exactly how you yeah. do it. <laughs> watch him on stage compete live like you have no idea i watched him win number eight it was crazy i watched i was there for number eight that was the same year i turned pro and you see that you're like it, it, it makes no sense yeah. what does ronnie listen to when he trains Tupac. okay good good none of that weak <laughs> like <laughs> what's up guys it's your boy big ron here got my boy phil heath seven time mr olympia yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And we about to get into some bag. Let's go, y'all. Let's do this. Ronnie was the one that like reminded me that it was okay to drive an Escalade with crazy ass subwoofers. Cause I've always been in the beats and stuff. So like, I'm thinking it was like, I did my first Arnold in 07. And yeah, I used to watch, obviously watching all these videos. So, I got my Arnold Classic check. I was already making, you know, I was starting to make some real money. And then I, I go to the Cadillac dealership and they're like, hey, we got this nice EXT. And I remember Ronnie used to get that, because back in the day, you win the Olympia, they'd have a truck, they'd have the EXT on stage. And I'm like, man, I want, I want that. So I went ahead and got me that white one. I, I hit on my boys, I was like, hey, you know what you gotta do? They're like, yes, sir. I was like, put some subs in that Let's go. I want to be like Ronnie, man, driving down the street. I was like, I need you to hear me three blocks away. You guys train on this equipment yet? Because I'm telling you, man, like this, like, it's different, right? You be thinking like, oh no, let me put a plate on. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Your ass get humble real quick. <laughs> Nothing about a peanut. Yeah, buddy. Light 
bait. The guy was like touching, telling me he needed to hit this part here, hit this part here. Okay. He, he had a little guy there with him. I ain't trying to call nobody, lady. Siri be tripping, man. Siri, go take a nap. <laughs> yep. There you go. Lightweight. Lightweight, baby. Yep. There you go. You ready for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Time for that comeback. <laughs> They sure want it. Yep, exactly. I think they wanted more after last night. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think Shaq said something last night. Yeah, uh huh. He was, he was, he was talking to Mike. Yeah, you know he was. <laughs> hey, you got a documentary coming out? Yeah, next March. Okay. Yep, we signed a deal with uh, Universal got, Pictures, man. You got uh, Netflix? No, 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 Universal. Oh, okay. Yeah, Universal Pictures. Right, now, who, 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 so they own all the, like, not just Peacock, but a lot of other platforms. So it's a world global release. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. They're actually headquartered, believe it or not, in London. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, so it was co-produced by Seven Bucks Productions, you know, with Danny yeah, and Dwayne. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw he was in it, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah she he, in it, too? No, Danny's, well, no, Danny's not in it. She, you know, she always behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she be running stuff. But they were great to so work with. So you said with. March? Yeah, March 24th oh, okay. is the UK release. Now, Universal, more, oh yeah, they got their own channel. They got, you know. Oh, they got. Multi-billion dollar brand. I mean, they got so many other platforms worldwide. Come on now. <clears throat> Shoot, wait a minute. I knew something was wrong. Did you take it off? <laughs> no. <laughs> you thought it was 98 again. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot where I was. I yeah, guess. see? <laughs> you talking about me getting ready for so something. so excited about your video coming out. <laughs> your documentary coming out. I lost track of what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> Why that's so heavy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do heavy weight no more. Them days is over. Yeah. I'm, I'll be 60 in a couple of months. What? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Big six over. Wow. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Six, that's, that's no, Six, that's not true, Ron. 60 with eight girls. Eight girls, eight and Mr. Olympias. Two grandkids. <laughs> two grandkids. <laughs> yep. Youngest one is nine years old. Wow. <laughs> now, are they all in Texas or are they spread out? Yeah, they spread out. I got, uh, what? <laughs> four, lift, four in the house with us in okay. Texas. I got one in in uh, Houston, okay, Texas, and I got three in California. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they they all come through for a holiday or like next month? Uh huh. Yeah, yep. that's cool. Yep. Holiday and when I can uh, get out to California. What part of Cali? L.A. L.A. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh yeah. There you go. Bite me. Pretty much. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing here. Yeah. So, so now I think about it when our when our movie premieres come out, I think we're gonna have like multiple premieres. So oh I, yeah. So I'll let you know. Oh, okay. See if we come out. Yeah, because it's gonna be strategically planned like throughout America. So once I get all that, I wanna have I wanna have all the people that influence me, like yourself. Oh okay, yeah. Cause uh, I told you this before, but I, shoot it, you won. Ronnie won in 04. Decided to guest pose in Denver. <laughs> yep. We're at East High School. <laughs> And he was guest posing. I made sure I got my ass there for prejudging. I was like, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see King Coleman. That's when I was at my biggest too. Oh, it, this was crazy. <laughs> so Ronnie's over here signing autographs. He's wearing like a Flex magazine <laughs> jumpsuit and just, just I mean, bursting out of this damn thing. And I waited two hours 
I waited like two hours to get his autograph. The whole oh, okay, venue was like so packed. It was like virtually impossible to, to meet him. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna come back at the night show, watch him guest pose, and I'm gonna wait again. So I'm in line, then I run back inside because he was on stage. And he, I still remember, you were wearing blue trunks. <laughs> He's doing this shit, and I was like, because like, mind you, I had, already, I had already seen, I had already seen Gunther guest pose in Colorado. I already seen Claude Gruel. I seen Jay, and then I see you, and I'm like, now I understand why this dude is like whooping everyone's ass. <laughs> and I just so happened to see you like, what month it was about was a month. It was like October, so oh, it was like okay. pretty much fresh after you had won. After, oh, okay. And the whole crowd going crazy. So after you got off stage, I was like, I'm gonna wait in line again. <laughs> But this time I made sure I said, I gotta be the last person so that I can at least like see him. So I, I waited, I calculated, it was like four and a half hours total that I waited to meet you. And I bought four autographs. And uh, Will Reese was the one that was watching after you. Uh, no, no, yeah, 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 Will, yeah, Reese, Reese, yeah, Reese, yeah. Will Reese was there. Mm -hmm. I remember. And I said, man, <laughs> I gotta get these autographs, man. What was your first show? Uh, my first show was the uh, Sean Ray uh, Pro Colorado, Show, Colorado Pro. Yeah. What was that? I got at? you on the other side. Don't worry about. it. I got you. What was that at? That was in Denver. Denver? Yep. I ain't know Sean had a show in Denver. Yep. Because he was with, remember that company Biotech? Yeah, yeah, Biotech. Yeah. And they were out of Colorado. <laughs> they were from Colorado, I should say. Cause uh, Flex was with them too, wasn't he? Uh, I think it was uh, Melvin. <clears throat> I don't know what Flex was, but yeah. Oh, so yeah, that was my pro debut. And they, uh, what you played? I won. Oh, okay. Won my, my, won that show, and then I did the New York Pro the week after, and I won Steve's show, so I won my first two pro shows. Hey. And then, uh. You came in winning. Yeah. <laughs> yep, and then, uh, I skipped the Olympia, because I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I need to rest. Honey told me, just, just be patient. Uh -huh. And I went, watched 06, then came back in 07, did the, uh, I did the Arnold in 06, in 07, and uh, placed fifth at that Arnold. And that Who won? Victor. Victor. Oh, I won. remember. He beat okay. Dexter. Yeah. So he beat Dexter, and I got fifth. It was Victor, Dexter, Victor, Dexter, Tony Freeman, Gustavo, and myself. Oh, okay. That was the order. And then I was uh, working with Metrics at the time, and I went up to Frank Seppi. I said, because Honey told me, he was like, you got to ask if they would be cool if I take the off season mm -hmm. and not, not compete at the Olympia. And I was like, man, I'm going to get yelled at because <laughs> you know, we're paying me. <laughs> yep. So you got third in 08. And then I got fifth in 09. I got sick. Oh, okay. And that's when Jay came back and kicked all our asses. <laughs> and ten. And ten, he and I went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, one and two. Oh, okay, okay. And then I won that following year. I still remember, I still remember it like yesterday, to be honest. <laughs> and then I realized it wasn't yesterday. <laughs> How many years has it been since you haven't competed? Three. That's it? Yeah. I feel like longer than that. It was 2020. Oh, man. In Orlando. I feel like it's been longer than that. It feel like it. <laughs> Lightweight, when do, baby. When do you think, like, even when, because I was at your retirement, it was 07? Yep. <laughs> was it early in that year? Or was it like, yep. early yeah, in that year? You just committed to say, this is no matter this, what happened, this, this, this is, is it. it. <laughs> this is it. I've had it. I'm done. Yep. Yeah. Like, when you know, you know. You know, you know. Because I was going through. Uh, it'll be a pain. Yeah. Okay. So you already started feeling? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah it was killing me. Because when I had the show, I hadn't had surgery. Oh, really? I, I could barely stand on stage. And to be that big and still be able to. <laughs> yeah. Like, that was... <laughs> it was rough. Remember, like it was yesterday. And it was different then for you because uh, it was now a two-day show. Yep. <laughs> Made it a whole lot worse. 
Just pulling down all that water, you think? Yep. Or, yeah. <clears throat> it was not easy. No. That made the pain that much worse. I bet. No, with no water in you? Oh, no, man. For two days like so, that? As soon as I uh, <laughs> would pose, mm -hmm. do my comparison, I would sit down. Damn. I didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> I would sit down on stage, <laughs> <laughs> but behind everybody, you know. Oh yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I was in a lot of pain. Well, you guys kept it like when I say you guys, like you, Chad, you know, like you guys kept it really quiet. None of us knew. Uh huh. Didn't yeah. say nothing about it. Yeah. Because did you, like, did you have a tear in your lap? No, it was just. I think that's just time over time. time yeah, over time it just started to affect you. The, the nerves, you know, they kind of draw up or whatever. Yeah, get weak. Mm -hmm. They don't fire like they supposed to. I think I see that now. age. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think I see that now with uh, Rami, a little bit like with his back. Yeah, he's working with uh, some kind of. Like, new, 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 like new neurological, uh -huh. like neural person or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good because if, obviously if it's not firing, it's got to. He said he put uh, like two inches on his huh. arms or something. He was saying, well, damn. two or three. Well, if he do that, because his arms were affected. That's yeah. for sure. That was one of the first things I saw. That's why he didn't do the show. <laughs> ah. Mm -hmm. Well, he here to come back. <laughs> <laughs> you say like uh what was better in your opinion like as far as social media would you, if you could if you could have your reign in this era like of social media or would you rather be like how it was with the magazines and stuff i'd rather be how it was with the magazine yeah <laughs> less distraction yeah <laughs> Where you can have a real off season and yep. not have to worry about nope. always having to be yep. perfect all the time. Yep. Posting you, and all that. Where you can really focus. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Like, you can really focus. People ask me, I'm like, man, if they took away social media for a year, I think you would see some better physiques. Because they'd be forced to just stay their ass in that gym. <laughs> yeah. But I feel sometimes people just be saying stuff just for social media instead of just doing the work. Exactly. I'm like, I'll be out here being fake because when they get pressure, they don't know how to handle it. It's the best I ever looked. I know I'm going to win. I feel like they're doing it so then someone can do one of those montages. You know, like if I say the oh, right yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, if yeah, I say the right thing, thing, then someone will tweak it and then make these montages to make them be bigger. I'm like, the thing that's going to make you look be bigger is win. That's it. <laughs> You ain't exactly. gotta say a damn thing. <laughs> no. I went to my first Olympia watching you in 05. Uh, and you just said, oh, hell no. <laughs> and then Guter was doing his thing. I was like, and then Jay and then Gustavo ran up there. Yeah. I was like, and I'm thinking to myself, they ain't like that now. <laughs> I'm like, they're scared. <laughs> they're scared. <laughs> I was out in Italy. I saw a piece of equipment that was being customized for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to get finished with that. Yeah. It's a chest press. I was, yeah. like, I was like, hell yeah. I got to sit in and I was like, me and Bob were like super jealous. <laughs> was like, man. Bob was there? Yeah, Bob was there. We were in there What are you doing out. there? Well, he, he works with them a little bit. You know? With Panada, because he also works with a company that uh, works with Panada to do the outfitting of your gym. So like if you want certain flooring, tile, lights, all that stuff. So he helped facilitate that. I'll tell you what, speaking of Panada, man, working out with Rudy is something else. <laughs> that man does not stop. Rudy's trying to hit hard, don't he? Yeah, he's trying to make a point. I'm like, <laughs> Rudy got done prove. Yeah. <laughs> He out here to embarrass you if you let him. I was like, Rudy, seriously. You gotta calm down. I just got a fight, man. <laughs> what was it like training like in college? Was it just like a bunch of powerlifting movements when you were playing football or? No, nah, we didn't have uh we didn't have 
no training stuff. Really? Just, like, go to practice and... Yep. And if you want to lift weights on the side... If you, if you want to lift weights... How you raise this up? Yeah, right here. Oh, right there, okay. Yeah, if you want to lift weights, you got to do that on your own time. Really? And the gym that we had was the size of that room right there. That was it. So Eddie Robinson was... I was the only one worked out. Really? Yep. That makes sense, because... Uh, you know, a lot of my family went to Grambling. Oh, yeah? Yeah. My mom's cut, first cousin, Doug. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. In my senior year, we had a new coach, so you know how that works. Like, you're yeah. not my guy. Yeah. So I didn't recruit you. I didn't recruit you, so <laughs> your job is to train everybody else. I was like, damn, it's like that. He was like, just get your dang. education, son. I was like, okay. <laughs> and luckily, I did five years majored in business and IT. And the guy I was sitting next to in a programming class happened to have your picture on his laptop screen. <laughs> so who's that? <laughs> Swole as hell, man, what's going on? <laughs> you must have been for like 98, 99, look you? I worked the uh, police department. I worked for my apartment complex and I worked at Denny's. <laughs> Three jobs. And then when did it feel there, like right when you won the Olympia the first time, or then? Because you, you kept it going. I kept it going. I, I, like I, number I, three. I, I ain't quit the police department until I won three. Yeah, I was going to say three. <laughs> yeah. I'm still tripping about the fact that you was, you was in the patrol car. You guys see the damn outfit Ronnie had to wear? They had to like customize the whole damn uniform. Yep, sure did. <laughs> People must have freaked the hell out when they saw you walking in the damn precinct every day. Oh, they got used to me. Yeah? Yeah. Then sometimes they ain't pay no attention. You do all these arms right quick. Yeah. A couple of exercises. Yeah, no doubt. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try the new one. I, I ain't tried it yet. Yeah, you just got to, uh, you got to stand up and get your elbow, like, right here. Uh -huh. And this goes up yeah, and go down. Ahead, go ahead, do it. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll show you. I just watch you. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. How you like it? 13, I like this. Yeah, smooth, right? Uh huh. So, do you have a favorite memory with Roddy? Um, I have a couple. Okay. Favorite memory was to be able to watch him on stage. <laughs> I mean, and just for me, it was always watching reaction. I'd like to watch the reaction of other people. And when he came out, it was just like people ripping up the tickets, like, damn, this dude just like whooped everyone's ass. But the, the, the best memory was again finding out where the after party was, me and Ronnie Coleman, and I actually had someone that a lady from the expo that I was taking with. I got rid of her. I was like, man, I want to hang out with him. <laughs> so I was able to hang out with Ronnie and Honey. We went to Burger King. No, McDonald's. McDonald's, Mike. Yep, McDonald's, see? <laughs> We go to McDonald's, he's got this BSN, he got this jersey on. And I ain't never seen arms like this. He, every time he's eating, it's like the muscles are getting harder and harder and bigger, and that rope vein is getting like, it's like pulsing. club <laughs> and I was like I'm going to strip club and run and go with this is dope <laughs> I was like eh. and what's crazy is that he got his whole family there everybody there mom mom everybody I was like this is all right cool so the best part as it goes on was I'm looking at honey I'm like hey man he getting late it's like like past 6 a.m I was like, I don't know, man. I got stuff to do. Like, I think I got a flight to catch, maybe. He was like, yeah, yeah, we got to go. He was like, let's go. So, Honey goes, hey, we Ron, like, we about to leave. I was like, thank you for your hospitality. Thank you so much. He's like, yeah, no problem. He's like, yeah, we got a, we got a bus. Like, they can take you back. I said, where are you going? He goes, oh, you know, I'm going to stay here. 
I was like, what? I said, don't you have like, he goes, yeah, I got a photo shoot at 9.30, you know, and then I got the press conference at 11. I said, you ain't going to sleep? He goes, nah. I said, never slip. I was like, that's what it's like. So obviously fast forwarding to when I win, you don't sleep. So now I understood, but that was my first, one of my best memories Oh, Ronnie, I mean, I got another strip club story, but like, that was when we went to Pittsburgh at, at the <laughs> Manion show. Ronnie over here wearing one of these, you wear these flannels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You wear these flannels and you're thinking like, we're going to, Ronnie Coleman in a strip club, we were over here, and it was like in Pittsburgh, it was garbage. We over there and he's just hanging, and he's just doing this at the table. Ronnie and I are just laughing because no one's paying attention to women. <laughs> Every dude is paying attention to him. And they going up to him like, hey, can I buy you a beer? Can I do this? He's like, no, I'm good. And then they try to kick us out because they're like, the girls are getting paid no money. <laughs> we had a club. Ronnie over here, we made a joke. We were like, uh, let's see if Ronnie Coleman's arms are bigger than the waitress's waist. And if, because she was a bottom service girl, we we're like, hey, I bet you his arms are bigger, like, 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 24 inches. She was like, no, I got 24 inches. She's like, let's see. She was like, well, I'll be damned. I go, you owe us some drinks. I was like, I love hanging out with Ronnie, man. He's nothing but fun. But yeah, everybody, right. everybody that would be with Ronnie or in that circle was always happy. And that's what I, one of the coolest things. Like no drama, just everybody just happy. Yep, having fun. Yep. You know, now we're seeing a lot of these champions lose their title. <laughs> When uh, when they woke up the sleeping giant, meaning you, mm -hmm. and you decided to go on a spaceship and come back yep. after 2002 with Gunter. Yep. Immediately after that show, what was the first thing that went through your head? I think these guys want to go to war. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's time for me to take these clowns to war. Yeah. So, every day I went to the gym, that was my thought. Well, they want to go to war. So I was stacking everything and putting plates on everything. So if, it, if the stack was 250, I'm putting 245 pound plates on it and repping it. That was crazy. <laughs> every machine in the gym. What was like see, the atmosphere like when people would see with the gym like that? Probably that, uh, that was a hunter. For real, yeah. What what drove you to that, do that though? Cause I never seen someone. Cause I had like, done eight hundred for a deadlift. Like man, if I did deadlift eight hundred for two, I, I'd answer the squatting. <laughs> and I remember leading up to it for two weeks. That's all I thought about in the car. I get that eight hundred for two. I get that eight hundred for two. And I remember the day of it, like day of the day. Time to take me to take these fools to war. <laughs> I, I get in the car, go to the gym. Day is the day. I was hyped the whole day. <laughs> From the time I got up, that's all I thought about. Damn. 800 for two. And I never forget it. I got up on the 800. I'm like, oh shit, this light. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't heavy. Uh, on the second one, I'm like, I'm going down further. And I put it up, and I'm like, oh man, I had four more reps in me. That's crazy. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm getting ready for Olympia. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> let me calm down. Right. Yeah. Yep. Come on. Yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. Lightweight, baby. Yep. Gotta get them arms a little bit bigger. Oh yeah. Don't freak them out on this comeback. <laughs> we gonna go. we gonna start the rumor now. <laughs> we gonna start it now. <laughs> the 60th anniversary. <laughs> I'm gonna do what Arnold did, right? I think he was supposed to be commentating in, in yep. 1980, right? Yep. <laughs> and then decided. Get on stage. Let me go ahead and get on stage and piss <laughs> everybody off. Took six years off. That's crazy. <laughs> You know he done piss, you know he pissed off everybody. <laughs> yep. Everybody. Yeah. I just got done.
chain with this one. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, and here it comes. <laughs> now, I gotta be a, a every, condition. Everybody's been signing this wall. Signing the wall. And they were saying I should sign over here, but I, I, I gotta be right here. You gotta be, I gotta right, be there. right here. I gotta be right here. I'm not gonna you be You gotta different. be in the mix. I got, exactly. So I gotta put. Yeah, right. buddy. Damn. Oh yeah, there we go. Seven times. Time. And I'm just like Ronnie, it should have been ten, but damn, I mean, we got we gotta get what we can. But we know how to add. Seven plus eight is fifteen. That's pretty much two decades of dominance. Yeah, buddy. It's been a great time. Thank you so much. I really uh, appreciate bro. you. Like, appreciate you been, coming out. Hell yeah, we'll do it again. Yeah, buddy. Lightweight in the house. We got 15 Olympias sitting right here. This is history, y'all. Me and my boy Phil just finished working out some back and some bicep oh, on yeah. some real nice panada equipment. Oh yeah. Phil, what do you think about that panada? Oh man, it's, a, it's amazing, it's awesome. I feel pumped. We had a great time, was able to, like I said, look at the, we got it going on. Yeah, but it ain't right there. And of course I'm pumped <laughs> up because I'm with one of the, the greatest, the, the king of bodybuilding. Ronnie yeah, Coleman, buddy. And if y'all want to see more workouts like this, all y'all got to do is like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, you guys. Yeah, buddy. Lightweight baby. Y'all know, like I know, it still ain't nothing but a peanut. We out. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching this. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to comment and subscribe. Yeah, buddy.